I mean, the other thing we pointed out in our investigations, how they have different physical standards for agents, you know, who are running or who have guns, essentially the agents that typically protect the protectees, such as the president and President Biden, Vice President Harris, and, and former President Trump. And there are significant differences in the fitness standards, much less and obvious, obviously for women. That a woman engaged who fits, who meets the, meets the highest physical standard, if she were a man, it would be the lowest standard. Now, given the nature of the job, that's concerning to me. I mean, think of what they're expected to be able to do. I mean, we kind of saw some of this, the, 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 uh, the craziness of that DEI approach with the agents that were around President Trump and Butler, where you had female agents who were not tall enough, seemingly not trained well enough to provide adequate protection. And then, of course, you know, they had to move him. And he's a big guy. I would, you know, it's like, would I want to move someone my size? No, I wouldn't. It'd be hard to do. Would you expect a woman to move someone my size or move you? If you're a woman, would you expect a woman even to move you? If you became dead weight or injured and needed movement. So there are those basic issues that, you know, the Secret Service, it's one of the reasons Secret Service is kind of a morale, a disaster in terms of morale, because all of these issues are coming up. People aren't getting hired and elevated on merit. That's the concern. Based on their ability to actually perform the job, which is very peculiar and has specific requirements, physical and otherwise.